The potential that the recruiters, uh, the human resources teams are looking is indeed very high, but it's not impossible. One of the best ways to acquire the skills that you need in order to become a cab crew is actually to stay engaged until the last minute of this video. In today's video, I will share with you what are the skills that you can develop, what are the skills that you can straighten them and then later on display them during any form of your cabin crew recruitment process, um, irrespective if it is a video interview or face-to-face -to -face interview, and then you will be able to be recruited on the spot. Remember, we are um, all constantly engaged um, in a process where you are asking me questions related to the famous cabin crew interview questions, and I never hesitate to give you the appropriate answer or how I think that you're supposed to answer that question. However, um, to many candidates, that simply seems not to be enough, and I fully agree with that, and I fully support that. Uh, you're all um, in that process, you're all the time asking uh, yourself why I cannot get the job, what is it that they're looking for, and much more. Now, um, here is, uh, in this video I will tell you what you need to develop and learn, how you can uh, display them after watching this video. I'm very sure that you will be able to secure any job in the aviation industry and the entire process is going to be just a piece of cake for you. Before we start, I will inform you that there will be three videos and I will put them separately because those are um, skills for separate topics, um, but I will name them in a playlist called Cabin Crew Candidate Skills. And in this video, we're going to be talking all about the safety and security skills. The next video, which I will publish very shortly, I believe, we will talk about the first aid skills and the third one will be the customer service skills. Now, if you watch all three of the videos, and uh, I'm very sure that you will be able to be well informed and knowledgeable about it, and you will be able to answer literally every cabin crew interview question, I can guarantee you 100%. Now, do not forget also my playlist of the cabin crew interview questions and answers that I have talked about and let's start. For those of you that are first time on my YouTube channel, my name is Julia George. I used to be a cabin crew for Qatar Airways for 10 years and I have resigned from my last work position as a cabin service director. Now I'm living in Germany and I'm studying aviation management master studies at Wildau Institute of Applied Science in Berlin. But at the same time, I work as a Snore Lab assistant in Heyo's Clinic in Schwerin, in the city where I currently live. If I was a candidate and I was watching this video, I would open a blank page of a board document and I would start noting everything. You don't need a training after you're watching this video. You will become your best trainer and the best coach and your self-esteem will rise up uh, as well as your confidence level. Now, the skills that I will speak about are related to the passenger safety, to the emergency and the customer service together. Now we can start. I will start first with the core component of the cabin crew job and that is the passenger's safety. When the recruiters will be asking you all those different questions which are involving different scenarios, they will actually be looking whether you possess or not something which is called an ability to identify potential threats to the passenger's safety, to your safety, and are you able to respond to um, situations like emergency. You will also be evaluated on something which is called providing efficiency or a courtesy on personalized service and ensuring that um, at the same time passengers and comfort, uh, passenger safety and comfort have been monitored. Are you someone that can coordinate and execute all aspects in the customer relations in in-flight assistance and passenger safety and security for high volume or so-called major airline carrier? If time permits, I would suggest you that you explore and learn something about passenger safety, about the emergency medical trainings, about crisis management and something called extensive customer care training for airline passengers. A skill that will definitely highlight you uh, or you will highlight your ability to understand an optimal passenger comfort with providing excellent customer service skills while maintaining the standards for the uh, passenger's uh, safety is very important. Now, this means that you can display full understanding of how important is the passenger safety and comfort while providing extraordinary customer service for a pleasant and enjoyable travel experience. Your overall attitude should be in accordance with the established company policies and procedures. 
And this means that if you have taken the time to research and study the airline prior to your interview on the same event, you act and behave as you were already employed and you're part of their cabin crew team or any other team that you're applying for the airline that you want to work for. Ladies and gentlemen, I would kindly ask you, please develop, straighten and do not hesitate to demonstrate leadership skills. And I spoke about the leadership skills in a separate playlist over here on my YouTube channel. The link of that playlist is going to be in the description box below this video. What do I mean when I say uh, leadership skills? With the leadership skills, you will display an ability to instruct the passengers by announcements when that will be needed and also you will display an ability to conduct different demonstrations and as an example I can mention over here demonstrations of the emergency exits when you will be do doing safety demo whenever it's required. Now mentioning the leadership skills and I think that I was among the first cabin crew consultants to talk about this um, I would like to say that if you display the same, um, irrespective uh, that you possess leadership skills and if you display them in an emergency or in a non-emergency scenario or a question, you will display to the recruiter something called an ability to calmly resolve passenger situations during the flight and passenger situations during the flight can be different and that can include disorderly passengers, um, that can include medical emergencies and I would um, strongly suggest that if you do the same, it will definitely help you to secure the job very easily. In your questions answering and during the interactions with the recruiters, always aim to display an attitude in which it is an imperative for you to provide assistance to all the passengers that will include um, lifting and stowing their luggage, that will include that your um, imperative is going to be providing first aid whenever uh, it's needed, you will be assisting the disabled passengers and also the unaccompanied minors, which are the young children traveling alone. Please be aware and be informed that your future role as a cabin crew will also include something as maintaining safe conditions of the um, cabin, the airplane cabin, and you should not hesitate to also instruct the passengers on safety procedures as well as assist them during emergency situations. Whenever um, any scenario is going to pop up, please uh, display that you're not hesitating to say that. Um, I very rarely mention the uh, two important individuals that are uh, leaders in the uh, cabin crew team and those um, two important individuals are actually the flight deck crew and also would like to uh, kindly ask you to be aware that they are part of the cabin crew team. You are not only alone with your supervisor and your crew and if you display awareness and understanding on uh, effectively implementing their instructions at all point of time, you will certainly shine during your um, cabin crew interview and um, the recruiters will definitely be amazed by your answers. Connected to what I have mentioned, if any of the cabin crew interview questions involve any suspicious activity um, that you're not aware of, please do answer uh, in a way that is going to be an imperative for you to report anything suspicious in the aircraft to your captain as well as uh, to assist your passengers afterwards and of course to keep your entire cabin crew team well informed, your supervisors, etc. etc. The recruitment team will look for your adaptability to the um, constantly changing work environment where uh, while at the same time maintaining an established protocols and standards to ensure safety, service and uh, a product quality at the same time. During your um, recruitment event, uh, unless it's online, what I want to say is please do communicate with other candidates, especially if you have, let's say, a group discussion, because um, you will be that that is going to be a serious parameter in which you will be evaluated whether or not um, you can work together as a team in all circumstances. The group discussion is something that you're asking me to constantly elaborate. I promise I will do it. Communicating with the flight tech is very important. Um, and uh, ensure that you are aiming to follow the safety standards and you will be um, looking at the time management in order to do your duties, um, perform your duties on time. Mentioning the flight deck, it is very important that you stay aware that there is something called CRM or Crew Resource Management Skills 
And whenever uh, different scenarios will be presented um, in the form of questions, please be aware and do highlight at all point that you have your crew, that you know that you have your colleagues, that you know that you have your flight deck and your passengers, and you will always aim for the best solution in any scenario that will be in favor of the safety of everyone on board the flight that includes you and your colleagues and the flight deck as i have mentioned now if you're someone that has a flying experience you know the part that i will share with you a bit uh, but if you're a fresher this will be completely new for you now in the commercial air transport before passengers aboard the flight um, the cabin crew are actually obliged, it's part of their job to perform something which um, it's called safety checks. Now the reason for doing this is to actually ensure, ensure that um, an unauthorized or a personal or an object is on board and basically to ensure that no one or nothing should be there which can harm the flight that they're operating. Related to what I have shared, I want you to know uh, the following duties that the cabin crew perform on board. So you will be brilliant, you will be outstanding candidate that I strive for on the uh, social media platforms that I represent. Now, the cabin crew, um, which are performing safety checks um, in the entire passenger cabin before the flight, it includes um, safety checks of the toilets, the galleys, the passenger seats, um, the equipment that they're using literally before passengers are boarding, except the cargo and the flight deck, the cabin crew are checking everything. Um, the cabin crew also ensure that the cabin is safe by performing uh, detailed safety checks with constant cabin observation and um, that follows uh, detailed uh, policies and procedures. And I would stress a, a bit on this. Um, these duties have been performed during all stages of the flight. They start before passengers are board, but they are continued during the entire flight. It is very important to know that assisting the passengers um, during the boarding phase um, also includes something called an observation and um, you are basically um, doing your safety checks even when passengers are boarding. Everything that looks suspicious must be immediately reported to your uh, seniors, to, your, to the flight deck. And also as a cabin crew, you should, um, or you should know that you are conducting something called a post-flight um, safety checks or just um, in the airline where I was working for, we were calling that um, lost and found checks, where basically we're checking whatever, uh, is there anything that the passengers have left and not supposed to be there and we're reporting that to the ground staff. Related to what I have mentioned before, a full observations and attention to details are really, really required. This is why the recruitment process, ladies and gentlemen, is not easy. The potential that the recruiters, uh, the human resources teams are looking is indeed very high, but it's not impossible. Here is also um, something important to uh, demonstrate that you are a detailed oriented person and that you will not only be um, someone who's going to be uh, serving customers with logo facing them, but also you will show them that by you being a um, detailed oriented person, you can also detailly conduct safety and security checks and you will be a detailly, a detailly observant cabin crew um, member. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I sincerely hope that with this video you get an insight a bit on the cabin crew skills which are related to the safety and security. Um, with one and only aim that when you, whenever you will be answering all those questions uh, interview questions um, to the recruiters, you will display a knowledge of the same and that will definitely rise up your chances. Last, last but not the least, you also might want to be subscribed on my YouTube channel because as I have mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're going to be having three videos. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've completed the safety and security skills. We are moving forward to the first date before we head on to the uh, customer service skills and I'm going to be seeing you very soon. Bye bye and have a nice day.